President Draupadi Murmu has given approval for the appointment of 13 new governors. Maharashtra is among 12 states to get a new governor as President Draupadi Murmu made crucial constitutional appointments. The President also appointed a new lieutenant governor for the Union Territory of Ladakh. Meanwhile, retired Justice S. Abdul Nasir has been appointed as the Governor of Andhra Pradesh. Remember, a month back, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, the current uh, Governor of Maharashtra, wished and expressed his wish towards uh, the Prime Minister of India the, that he wants to step down from the top post. Union Territory of Ladakh is also set to get a new Governor. To give more inputs on this, here I am joined by my colleague Mohit on the phone line. Mohit, uh, this breaking news is coming in right now that the the president has given approval for the appointment of 30 new governors, uh, including states and union territories. Maharashtra is one of them, and also Leh and Ladakh. But what's more to it, uh, Mohit? Well, yes, in fact, and you see, uh, we know for a fact that how the leaders from Mahavikas Agadi, specifically from Shiv Sena, they have been raising questions on the, uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, and we know for a fact that our Sanjay Raut and other Shiv Sena leaders, they have been saying this, that uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari on many occasions have insulted the sentiments of the Maratha people and he should be removed from his post. And uh, as we were saying that one month ago, about a month ago, Bhagat Singh Koshyari wrote to Prime Minister and stated that he wants to quit the active politics and, uh, and, and today his uh, resignation has been accepted. Now, we know that Ramesh Bass, who is the governor of Jharkhand, will take charge as the governor of Maharashtra and also Radha Krishna Mathur uh, has uh, has also resigned from as the as the uh, governor of Ladakh and the new appointments have been made but you see there are various appointments that have been made but one or two are very very interesting and important in terms of the political developments given the fact that how uh, uh, Justice uh, Just, Justice retired S Abdul Nazir has been appointed as the governor of Andhra Pradesh remember Abdul Nazir retired on 5th of January this year after serving as the Supreme Court judge for a long time. And we also know that he was the only judge from the minority community uh, in, in the bench, or the, in the constitution bench of Supreme Court who delivered Ayodhya case. So we expect that many of the political reactions might also come on his appointment. And also, Gulab Chand Kataria has also been made the governor of Assam. Now, remember, Gulab Chand Kataria is a senior leader of the BJP from Rajasthan. And we also know for a fact that how uh, in, in, in Rajasthan, the factions of the BJP are also a huge problem for the high command. And that is why it seems with Gulab Chand Kataria going as the governor of Assam, he, his role in the active politics of Rajasthan will come to an end, uh, given the fact that our Rajasthan is going to poll in the end of this year. So there are various, various interesting development uh, appointments have been made. Uh, 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 Fagu Chauhan has been gov appointed as the governor of uh, Meghalaya. Rajendra Vishwanath has been appointed as governor right. of Bihar. Ramesh Bass as the Jharkhand. So uh, we expect uh, that uh, now that the uh, governor uh, of Maharashtra has changed, we'll see that what exactly the Mahara Mahavika Sagari have to say on this. Yes, Mohit. All right. Thanks a lot, Mohit. I appreciate you joining us live. And we have also Shivani live with us for more inputs on this uh, various important appointments which are made by President Draupadi Murmu. Shivani, we are seeing that 13 governors are being appointed by the president and also Maharashtra is all set to get a new governor after... Uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, who is the current governor, wished and expressed his wish to PM Modi that he wants to resign from the top post. Meanwhile, Leh and Ladakh is also set. And also, um, Andhra Pradesh is also getting. And this is coming amidst the government versus the governor tussle, which is right now ongoing in the country and so many states around. So what's more to it? Shivani, over to you. Well, talking about Maharashtra, first then Bhagat Singh Koshyari has the put forth his desire to resign, uh, resign from the post of uh, the governor of Maharashtra a few days back when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was having a visit to Mumbai. And after that, he has put forth his resignation paper, but then it was not accepted by President immediately, whereas now the President uh, uh, Mumu has accepted uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari's resignation and alongside has given and appointed several other governors as well of respective states. So we can clearly understand that a big shuffle has taken place with regards to the post of governors when already you know the tussle is going on in fact the war of words was also a very big part of maharashtra when it came about bhagat singh koshyari we have seen already how after the shuffle between the uddha government and also the shinde Fadnavis government it was bhagat singh koshyari who was always under the target of the opposition party by the mba for making several allegations and statements uh, against the top popular leaders or against chatapati shivaji maharaj and also mba had demanded his resignation to be put forth when there is a government of bjp 
and now we have seen that after making several controversial statements bhagat singh kochari had become the first most controversial governor of maharashtra and also someone who has put forth his resignation and will be taking off from that post of governor very uh, soon before he is a uh, tenure gets over so of course uh, bhagat singh koshari is going to be the historical name with regards to maharashtra but as of now ramesh bais has been made the uh, maharashtra's new governor and uh, will be joining uh, when the formalities of bhagat singh koshari's resignation takes place so within this week of time we can expect uh, mr ramesh bais to take the charge of maharashtra's governor but simultaneously it will be an interesting part to see that how uh, when there are elections coming forth in the state of maharashtra those are five municipal elections uh, those are going to take place in five different uh, districts of the state uh, at that particular time it was mv who was again and constantly uh, charging bhagat singh koshyari was attacking bjp uh, through the statement as also ekna shinde that one who is also devotee of uh, shivaji maharaj then how come they are tolerating the statements made by bhagat singh koshyari and that is why also it was important for the bharatiya yes. janata party on the grounds uh you know uh, where a change uh, on the post of bhagat singh koshyari was highly needed as well